told me stories about a hidden world where brave warriors watch over and protect us. Opening for this Memorial Day weekend against uh, Hangover Part 3 and Fast and the Furious Part 6. Something original, imagine that, an original. This isn't a sequel, this isn't a remake. This is an original animated family film and it's absolutely terrific. It's called Epic. And it's kind of an Alice in Wonderland meets Avatar, is how I might describe this. It's from uh, Chris Wedgie, who uh, did the Ice Age series for Blue Sky Studios and 20th Century Fox. It's beautifully done. I mean, it's stunning animation here, and it's set in a forest. Basically, there's this guy that lives in this house, and he's convinced there's these little people that live in the forest, and he's got all this equipment and things, and he's detecting sounds, and he, he's convinced there are little people, tiny people, living out there in the woods. Uh, his daughter, who comes to visit, his estranged daughter, she comes to visit. Her name's MK, voiced by Amanda Seyfried. Uh, she thinks he's nuts. It's just that you have a delusional belief in an advanced society of tiny people living in the woods or something. But some things happen. She wanders out into the forest there, and lo and behold, she gets swept up into this world of little people. It's actually an incredible society. Uh, and on one side of the society is the queen, who is played by Beyonce Knowles, and she's trying to keep the forest the way it is and beautiful and lush for the next hundred years. And on this one day, she has the opportunity to do that by picking a successor to herself. It's picking a flower bud that will bloom into the next queen, and they will keep the forest as it is. On the other side, there is the evil Mandrake, voiced by none other than Christoph Waltz, the two-time Oscar winner, who's really good at playing evil. He wants to go back into darkness, destroy everything that's good about this world, and so you have these two sides, good versus evil there. She winds up in the middle, when the queen is attacked and the queen throws her the uh, the bud, the choice that she's made to take over, and now this, this teenage girl is in charge of saving the world that they've created there. And it it's, turns into a real adventure. Nice one. You're still in my moves, kid. Your majesty, come with me. Take her to safety. You're totally my hero. Epic is a great name for this movie. It is truly epic. There are big battles with what they call the leaf men. It's an army of leaves, essentially and um, all kinds of uh, lush scenery here. It's a great family movie too. And even though it's not based on something that you've already seen, give it a shot. It's nice to have an original thing out there, you know, and it's very difficult for Hollywood to grasp their minds around making something that hasn't been made several times before or doesn't have a ready-made uh, title. This one also has a great voice cast. I mentioned Beyonce, I mentioned uh, Christoph Waltz. There's also Josh Hutcherson of the uh, Hunger Games. Games. Uh, there's Colin Farrell, terrific cast down the line, um, even in the smaller roles, uh, Pitbull, the rappers even in this one too. It's called teamwork. Maybe if you understood that, the Leafmen wouldn't have kicked you out. But it's a lot of fun for the family. It's got thrills, it's got humor, it's got adventure. It's all of those things wrapped up in one, and uh, I think it's a good time at the movies, especially when there's a dearth of really good family movies out there to see. So Epic is definitely one to see. It's definitely a go.